to Nicola Hill in London. Uh, Nicola, it's a big question for many people who are wondering, will we ever be rid of COVID-19? Highly unlikely. That's certainly something that Professor Paul Hunter, who was in my report there, said, and he's one of the um, leading experts in emerging infectious diseases. He has said to me in the past, actually, that our grandchildren's grandchildren will have to deal with this virus, but that it will be much less virulent than it is at the moment. So we've got vaccines, which, as he said there, are not 100% effective, but what he believes is that they will stop the virus necessarily going from the throat, from the nose, the mucosal infection, he says, down into the lungs and into the other organs of the body, which is why people end up in hospital with severe disease. And of course, we've got these treatments. I mean, monoclonal antibodies, in fact, today there's been an announcement that one from GSK is certainly showing very good results, and interferons. These are two particular drugs that may well be effective if they're given to people when they're first diagnosed with COVID-19 when they get that positive test but they're expensive we're going to have the argument about equity of treatments like we have about vaccines and also you don't necessarily need to give these to every single person who gets a positive test some people are able to deal with the virus by their own body's immune system so it's determining who needs it is it likely to be given to people who shield those who have underlying health conditions cancers heart diseases people who are obese certain ethnicities for example so you know that's that's the future really interesting professor hunter also said to me that we were given a warning about this 15 years ago when we had sars the fact that the illegal trade in wildlife was likely to cause a major outbreak of disease sars eventually disappeared, COVID-19 isn't going to. And he warns that if we don't do something about this illegal trade, it's highly likely that there may well be another COVID-19 or even something that's worse. OK, uh, Nicola in London for now, thank you very much.